Welcome to Sports on Tap. I'm your host, Rob Trauman, and our next guest has been head coach of the Cuyahoga Community College Challenger since 2015, in which his team went 36-20 and in a second-place finish in the OCCAC, a 24-win improvement from the 2014 squad. This year was another successful season for the Challengers, who finished the season 47-14. and they're 29 and 0 at home and a 14 and 2 record in conference. They did lose in regionals to Kellogg Community College in Michigan. They placed third, and this is by far the best season Cuyahoga Community College uh, the Challengers have had in a long time. He is the 2016 OCCAC Coach of the Year. Coach Evan Agona joins us, and Coach, thanks for taking time to join us today. Thanks for having me, Rob. Look, looking forward to it. Uh, Coach, tell us and everyone about where you started, um, where you've been. You know, you have a lot of the college uh, coaching experience that you bring to Tri-C's baseball program. Talk about where you started and where you've been so far. Yeah, uh, like you said, I just finished uh, second season here at Cuyahoga Community College. Uh, spent the previous five seasons as an assistant coach at Mount Union. And uh, I've had a, a couple other stops previously uh, at the college level before uh Heading here to try C and, uh, you know, certainly looking forward to continuing to build the program uh, that we've started here over the last couple of years. Yeah, and you had a, a really impressive season this year. But when you first started at Tri-C, what was the first thing that you needed to do or that you saw to get this program headed in the right direction? Well, I think the biggest thing myself and our staff looked at uh, is we had to get a, a roster in place of talented uh, individuals, uh, guys that could get us to compete at the level that we are currently and, uh, you know, worked hard at the recruiting to try to go out and identify those players and, and uh, try to encourage them to join our program and, and attend school at Tri-C. Now, when you, when you first started, uh, this season, um, in the beginning of the season, you actually lost, it looked like, most of your games and then you went on a, a big winning streak. It was about 18 in a row. Uh, what clicked and, and got the team rolling um, early on in this season? Well, there are a couple of things, I think, that, uh, you know, dictated that, that early s- struggle that we had. One is our, our competition early was very good. Uh, we went down south to Georgia and the Carolinas and Virginia, um, played some real quality programs down there. Uh, and the other thing was is uh, we had some key guys that were injured during that early stretch. Uh, and also we had, we didn't have a whole lot of experience, uh, coming back from last year's team. So, you know, all that kind of played in, into, into that, that slow start. And then once we were able to get everybody healthy and kind of get, uh, our lineup figured out on a daily basis as to who was going to fit in where and, and kind of get a steady, uh, group of guys out there, uh, you saw what we were able to do and gel and, and get those guys rolling. Now you talked about, you know, getting a roster in place, um, you know, talk a little bit about the makeup of your team. Um, obviously, you know, a lot of uh, people out there were talking about the OCCAC co-player of the year, Manny Rodriguez, who is uh, a freshman. And, I mean, what a year he's had. But talk a little bit about him and the makeup uh, of your roster. Yeah, Manny had a great year. Uh, he was one of those guys that was injured early uh, and then uh, got himself healthy and um, really had a great, uh, I guess, last two-thirds or so of the season statistically. Actually was recently named a second-team All-American as well. Um, so, yeah, he was a key part of that. Uh, we had a lot of freshmen uh, that were contributing big things uh, for us. Uh, several of those guys were all-conference. Uh, center fielder Matt Starkovic is also a freshman, uh, a North Olmstead kid. Uh, he was an all-conference player as well. Uh, Max Levisky, uh, was a freshman all-conference guy from Lakewood High School, uh, mainly as a pitcher, uh, also did play some first base and DH and things like that for us also. Um, our catcher, uh, was a, was a key guy, uh, he was a sophomore, uh, Gabriel Vargas, two-year all-conference guy for us behind the plate, uh, and, uh, so th- those are kind of our key guys certainly all, all year long. Uh, we had some big contributions from other guys throughout various points of the season, and we were pretty balanced offensively between freshmen and sophomores. Um, the pitching staff was much more heavily dominant uh, in, in the freshman ranks and looking forward to having, you know, the majority of that group back uh, as we head, head into next season. 
Yeah, you know, a lot of your players look like, you know, obviously are freshmen and sophomore, and you did have, uh, you know, some older guys on the team that really contributed, but um, I think it's impressive, you know, the, the young guys that you were able to recruit. Now, how tough is it as a junior college baseball program to recruit talent, uh, you know, that that might be looking at other colleges or, or might not even think about the junior college ranks? How tough is that for you, and and how do you get them to believe in, in the direction you're going with the program? Well, it definitely is a different process than, you know, going directly to a four-year program out of high school. We see it as a great opportunity for these guys to come in and, and get a chance to play right away. Uh, something, you know, typically does not happen at, at four-year programs. Guys, freshmen and sophomores seeing a lot of playing time. Uh, so that's a, that's a key thing for our guys that we sell. And the other thing is, obviously, we want to try to, you know, continue to develop their skill set to where maybe they have a, a better opportunity at the end of their time with us than they would have had they decided to go to a four-year school out of high school. So, um, you know, our development and, and that experience, I think, is key for these guys. Uh, and certainly, you know, the economic part of it is huge. Uh, our affordability at, at Tri-C is, is second to none. Uh, and certainly, you know, fares very favorably for us as they're comparing against four-year programs. And there's a lot of uh, good local schools around in the area and, you know, where you guys sit in Parma. Um, I think you're kind of right in the center of everything. Is that what you guys, I mean, you guys obviously go all over the place, but is there uh, certain areas in the state that you really focus on or are you get, you have pretty much uh, scouts and your coaching staff pretty much everywhere? Well, we always start local. You know, we, we try to recruit the greater Cleveland area and Cuyahoga County as much as we can. Um, but then from there, I mean, we, we'll look all over the state. We have uh, some current players from, you know, various parts of the state, northwestern part of the state, the Columbus area, uh, and uh, we definitely have some guys coming in next year, you know, from all over the state of Ohio as well as, um, you know, other states in the region, western Pennsylvania, Michigan, uh, and uh, we also have some international guys uh, on our roster as well from uh, Latin America and as well as Canada. Wow, yeah, you have them from all over, and I know you're uh, you're always busy with, uh, you know, I'm sure recruiting and scouting. Is that what happens a lot in the summertime? Is you travel a lot, or um, what's the process like in the summer now that it's your off season? Yeah, summer is obviously the big time for us on the recruiting trail. Uh, we spend a, a lot of time, you know, out on the road. Myself and our assistant coaches going to showcases and, and tournament games and watching guys play. Uh, we also have a lot of things on campus as well. Having a, a great facility like we have allows us to host a lot of events in the summer, so, so that helps us also to, to have some quality talent uh, playing right on our facility, both during the high school season with the OHSA district and regional playoff games we host uh, and a lot of the events we host during the summertime as well. Yeah, you stay busy, that's for sure. Um now, Evan, you have 10 years uh, of collegiate coaching experience, and you've been, uh, obviously, you mentioned Mount Union. You've been to Mercyhurst and Thiel College. Um, talk about, you know, this is your second season at Tri-C. What did you learn in these last two seasons, especially this season? I mean, you made it all the way to regionals and placed third. Um, you've been highly ranked um, in the country among junior colleges. Um, were there some really important experiences this year? that you learned really about how to develop a program and, uh, you know, your team in general? Well, I, I think, yeah, I mean, we, we learn as we go, uh, you know, trying to adapt and adjust to, to the things that are going to make us successful. Certainly we have some, you know, core principles and philosophies that, that we work off of, but, uh, you know, we're always adapting to the things that we feel like we might need to tweak and adjust to make us better. Uh, year in, year out, uh, and, and certainly throughout the course of the season. Um, but I was, I was lucky, you know, I, I had a chance to work for some very good guys and played for uh, a very successful college coach and program as well. So uh, those guys definitely have shaped, shaped our foundation to what we're doing here, and, and I'm also fortunate to have a, a really good staff of guys to, to work with uh, our players to, to help, you know, develop those guys as well. And with your team, is there anything next year that you want to, you know, improve on or focus on to, uh, you know, get even better than you were this year, which I know is tough because you guys play third in regional. 
which is which is very impressive. But is there anything that you'd like to to really uh, improve on as a baseball program going into next season? Well, I think we got to get continue to get better in all areas. Uh, you know, we we won the conference this year, and, and like you said, we we did well in the regional tournament, but uh, did not obviously reach our ultimate goal of trying to get to the World Series and you know competing for the national championship. And so, you know, in order to do that, we we got to get better in all all areas. Um, I think our, our pitching was probably the most consistent for us throughout the year of, of all the phases of the game, uh, and those guys did a great job all year long. Um, just need to probably get a little bit more depth on the mound, you know, to to play in, in the postseason. And uh, offensively, you know, we're going to lose some key guys going forward uh, from our lineup. So, you know, we're going to have to replace those guys with with some new fresh faces and uh, and build on some of the young talent that we have returning as well. So, uh, we got to get better all the way across the board. We have a really talented group of young guys coming in that we just got to coach up and uh, you know get them get them going into our system. We're talking with Evan Agona. He's head coach of the Cuyahoga Community College Challengers. Um, and, Coach, just a, a few more questions, and then we'll let you get going. Um, we'll change uh, topics a little bit. Um, I'm sure you probably know uh, a little bit about the Cleveland Cavaliers, and they got a big uh, Game 6 victory last night. Do you have any predictions with uh, Game 7 on the line? I know you were from Akron and uh, from that area where LeBron is from, and, He's trying to bring home uh, the first championship to Cleveland in, in a long time. Any predictions on the Cleveland Cavaliers or any thoughts uh, of this Golden State series so far? Well, it's been a crazy series. I, I haven't watched every game minute, all the every minute uh, with my schedule, but uh, what I have been able to watch has been crazy back and forth. And, uh, you know, I think any, anything can happen certainly in a game seven. Um, you know, I think it's going to be a tough environment for those guys on the road, but uh, but who knows? Um, you know, both teams are, are super talented, and I think it's going to depend on who gets hot. Uh, you know, shooting the shooting the basketball. Yeah, the Cavs. Uh, you know, they they were down three one, and I don't think it is zero and thirty two record of teams that are down three um, one have a chance to come back. You know, everybody counted the Cavs out, and they're going back to Game Seven. So we'll see what happens, but. Uh, Coach, we appreciate you coming on and talking with us, and uh, love to have you on again and uh, next year and maybe in the beginning of the season so we can get preview your team and uh, look ahead and, and see what's going to happen here uh, with your team next year. So thanks for coming on, and uh, enjoy the rest of your summer. Sure, Rob. I appreciate the opportunity, and uh, you know, hopefully we can get back on next year, get a chance to talk about our guys, and uh, appreciate everything you do. That's the 2016 OCCAC Coach of the Year, head coach of the Cuyahoga Community College Challengers, Evan Agona, joining us on Sports on Tap. I want to thank everyone for listening. I'm Rob Troutman. We'll see you next time.